Welcome to Shadows of the Past, the show where we peel back the layers of gaming history to reveal the unexpected, the bizarre, and the lessons hidden within. If you're a fan of diving deep into the stories behind the screen, you're in the right place. And hey, if you like what you hear, hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey through the digital annals of time. Let's set the scene. The year is 2005. The world is buzzing with the release of the Xbox 360. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince is flying off the shelves. And in the sprawling virtual world of Azeroth, a crisis unlike any other is brewing. This isn't just a story about a game. It's a tale of chaos, community, and how a virtual world can reflect our own in the most unexpected ways. This is the story of World of Warcraft's corrupted blood incident. Our saga begins in the dark, troll-infested raid of Zul'Gurub, introduced by Blizzard Entertainment in their iconic MMORPG, World of Warcraft. Adventurers from across the globe gathered, seeking challenges and treasures. But lurking in the shadows was a threat no one anticipated, a digital disease named Corrupted Blood. Cast by Hacker the Soul Flayer, this debuff was a ticking time bomb. Highly contagious, it was meant to test the mettle of the most seasoned players. But due to a tiny glitch, this virtual virus did the unthinkable. It broke free from its digital chains. Imagine the shock as players watched major cities like Ironforge and Orgrimmar transform into scenes of catastrophe. The streets were littered with the corpses of characters, NPCs succumbing to the plague, chaos reigning supreme. It was like stepping into a scene from a dystopian novel, but this was no fiction. In this chaos, something extraordinary happened. Players' reactions mirrored real-life responses to pandemics. Some fled, seeking refuge in remote areas. Others stayed to help, healing the infected, trying to stem the tide of the disease. And then there were those who saw an opportunity in the crisis, spreading the plague, reveling in the anarchy. Epidemiologists and sociologists were captivated. Here was a living, breathing model of human behavior in the face of a pandemic, playing out in real time. The corrupted blood incident transcended its programming error, becoming a subject of academic study, a window into the complexities of human nature in crisis. Blizzard Entertainment, the creators of this virtual world, were faced with a dilemma. How do you contain a pandemic within a world of your own making? Patches and resets were deployed and eventually the outbreak was quelled. But the impact of the corrupted blood incident lingered far beyond the servers of World of Warcraft. As we look back, we're left to ponder. Was the corrupted blood incident a mere glitch in the matrix? Or was it a prophetic glimpse into the future? How does our behavior in virtual spaces reflect our actions in the real world? And what can we learn from the pixels and code that we spend so much of our lives interacting with? If you've enjoyed this journey into the heart of one of gaming's most fascinating events, don't forget to subscribe for more tales from Shadows of the Past. Share your thoughts, join the conversation, and let's keep uncovering the mysteries hidden in the digital world together.